Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a video to walk you through using an available accessory for your Garmin Instinct watch. And that accessory is called the Garmin Tempe. Now the Garmin Tempe is a wireless thermometer sensor that Garmin sells that the Instinct as well as other Garmin watches, the Phoenix, etc., can connect to and read ambient temperature. Now you might be sitting at home watching this video saying, now why in the world would I need to buy this device if I've already got a temperature sensor on the back of this watch? And that's a good question. The temperature sensor is on the back of the watch, so when you've got it on your wrist, you're not really getting an accurate temperature sensor because your body heat can kind of skew the temperature a little bit. What this allows you to do is you can clip this device on anything outside of your body, maybe your shoe, your backpack, your bike, if you're a biker, something like that, and this will be your temperature sensor versus the one on the back of your watch. So uh, this device sells for about $30 on the Garmin website. I bought it on Amazon. I paid $26 for it. I'm going to show you how it works, how it connects to your watch, and then you can make the determination on if it's worth $30 or not. So first and foremost, actually, let's just take a look at the, the sensor itself. It's just a little bitty plastic piece, very light. You wouldn't even know that it was clipped to you if you were using it. When you get it in, it comes with a couple different things. It comes with a back that already has a battery put into it. So it's not a rechargeable battery. It uses a CR2032, which is just a standard uh, lithium battery that you can pick up at any grocery store. I kind of like that about it. I like that it doesn't have a built-in rechargeable battery that someday you won't be able to change out. If the battery ever goes dead, you can go to the grocery store, spend a couple bucks and get another battery on it. All we're gonna do, let's see if I can get to where I can see this, okay? You just clip the battery onto the back of the watch and then you can twist it to take it off if you ever needed to replace it. Pretty easy, there's no on, no off switch. If it's got a battery in it, it can be red. It also has this little case and it's pretty easy. You just line it up, push it in, and you can clip this anywhere you want to. It's got a little bitty opening so you can run it through a strap or something like that. So that's a quick look at the Tempe. As far as getting it, putting the battery in it, nothing to it. Now let's talk about how we would connect it to our watch and what it does for us. Now first and foremost, I've done several videos in the past, I've talked about this. It's not going to have anything to do with the temperature data element on your watch. This data element for temperature is always going to come from your cell phone or a weather station. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the temperature sensor on the back of your watch or the Tempe. What we're talking about here is the actual temperature widget. So I'm using the temperature widget. I'm using the sensor on the back of my watch. If you don't have the Tempe, this is what it looks like when you look at temperature. This is my current temperature. This is my low. This is my high over the last four hours. Now take a good look at this. Let's look at this. You get a trend here. You get the current temperature and a little bitty thermometer icon in the upper right hand corner and you get your high and low. Now let's go connect the Tempe and we'll see what it looks like. We're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna go down to settings, press GPS to select settings. We're gonna to go to sensors and accessories, press GPS to select that. In my case, I don't already have it on here. Now you've got some things on here, but these are things delivered from Garmin on your watch. We're gonna do add new, select all, and it's gonna start looking around, trying to find some sensors or accessories to connect to. The Tempe is not the only uh, sensor or accessory you can buy. There's heart rate monitors, all kinds of different things that you can connect to with your watch. You will get this sometimes, it says no sensors found. Usually if you try again, it might take one or two times, it should connect to it. Now this process that we're doing, you only need to do initially when you get your Tempe in. Once you've got it connected, you won't have to go through this process. It found my Tempe, Tempe 100612, select to add. That 100, 0612 is the ID number of my Tempe. If you're doing yours, you will probably have a different ID number. So now it's currently connecting it. You'll notice that it shows disconnect. That tells me that it's been connected to the watch. We can go in here, we can see the status, it's connected. 
You can click the About section and that's where you can see your ID, some other information. This is all blank. I don't know if over time it'll eventually populate with any kind of information. You can click on Name and rename it if you don't want to have the ID as your name or you can remove it. I should mention that you don't have to just have one Tempe. I've read a forum post where people have multiple Tempe's and maybe somebody keeps one on their backpack, somebody keeps one on their bike, that kind of thing. Uh, you can just have one and move it around or I guess there's people that have multiple ones and they just pick the one they want to connect to. So now we're connected, let's take a look at what the temperature looks like now. Again, has nothing to do with your data element, but if I go to my temperature sensor, you'll notice that it looks different now that it's connected to the Tempe. I still have my low temperature, I still have my high. Instead of having my current temperature up here, I've just got a larger icon with the thermometer. My current temperature is up in the left-hand corner. Now I said earlier, you're gonna have to decide whether or not it's worth 26 to $30 to buy this thing. The one benefit that you get is you get a decimal point temperature with the Tempe that you don't get with the regular temperature sensor on the back of the watch. So 85.7 is my current temperature. That's one of the big disappointments I have with the Garmin Instinct watch is for the cost of it, you would think you would get a decimal point temperature. I can go buy a $75 Casio Pro Trek and I'll get a decimal point temperature. But with the Garmin, if I want it, I have to buy an expensive Garmin Instinct watch plus a $30 Tempe to get that. But that is a benefit. I do like having a decimal point temperature. Anyway, that's what it looks like. If you decide you don't want to use it, now that it's connected, all you'd have to do is press and hold the menu button, go down to settings, go again to sensors and accessories, go to your Tempe, and you can simply just disconnect it. It's still on your watch and it's still connected, but now it's just a toggle of whether you want it on or whether you want it off. So I've turned it off. If I go back to my temperature sensor, I'm back to using the temperature sensor on the back of the watch. Pretty easy, and again, if you wanted to turn it on, all you do is go back through the same navigation, flip it back to on. Kind of a cool gadget. Is it worth $30? I'm gonna leave that up to you. I guess for some people it's gonna be. For some people they're gonna say, nah, this, this one on the back of the watch is fine for me. If nothing else, I hope it gives you an idea of how this uh, device works and uh, how you can connect it to your Garmin Instinct watch. As always, I hope the video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.